It is Father's Day. Yeah. Yeah. And my Father, yeah. Yeah. He's standing in front of you all. Yeah. That's big for me, y'all. Yeah. But because it's Father's Day, we've acknowledged all of our fathers here. We appreciate and we love them. But let's lift our hands. Let's close our eyes. Let's acknowledge the Father that we will be with throughout all eternity. When our work here is finished, when we've loved everyone we can love, when we've served everybody we can serve, the Father that we will spend eternity with, let's exalt Him with the fruit of our lips today. Let's let Him know how much we appreciate Him as Abba Father. How much we appreciate Him as our protector. Let's exalt Him today. Let's lift Him up today. Let's appreciate Him today. Let's honor Him today. He is our Father today. He was our Father yesterday. He will be our Father through all eternity. When we are blessed to transition and go on to the state of eternity, He will yet be our Father. So Lord, we exalt You as our Father today. chapter 10 and I won't be before you long in Luke chapter 10 and for the sake of time we're going to pick it up in, at verse 17 through verse 19 and I must acknowledge and appreciate my bishop, my shepherd my overseer we love and appreciate you bishop such a man of God, such an example for us to follow it's amazing. You have to learn how to follow before you can leave, right? And so because God has blessed me with the opportunity to follow you, I stand up here doing this great work for him. I also want to acknowledge my, my co-laborers in the gospel and you, men and women of God. And I, you know what? Today I want to acknowledge my children. Amen. My children. My children go with me to so many of these Events when I'm working for God or whatever I'm doing, they get my stuff together. They they always on the roll with me, and I appreciate and honor you all for that. I love you because 
a lot of kids might not want to be involved in what their parents are doing for God, but they're serving even though they don't realize they're serving. So I honor God for my children. Amen. So in verse 17, Luke 17, and the 70 returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. And he said unto them, well, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. In verse 19, behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. I'm going to read that again. Jesus said unto them, behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all, not some, all the power of the enemy and nothing. Look at your neighbor and say, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Amen. So I'm following the vein of the series and the title of this message today is, I've got the power. Look at your neighbor and say, I've got the power. Amen. Let's put our hands together and give God the glory. As we take our seats, amen? Amen. 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 God is so good. I've got the power. So in the book of Luke, I love Luke because Luke was not one of the original 12 disciples. Luke because he was a physician, he was very good in his research. I love him because he's similar to me, and I'll take people's. I told you.